Hey guys, how's it going? It's Western Holster time. The bottom one is for a 7 inch uh, Peacemaker. Bianchi makes it. This is an 1898, is what it's called. And it's a Buscadero rig. It's kind of used in Hollywood. And they make really good Western holsters. Bianchi's really good for making. Western holsters. I've got one that's lined uh, lined on the back. The holsters themselves are suede lined on the inside. They've got really nice tie thongs that they match. These are matching holsters. Uh, this is a Ruger Vaccaro and 357 Magnum and single action. I kind of wish this was a blue steel. I should have gotten it in blue steel, but this is stainless and it's polished stainless. So you know, I mean, they're 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 good guns. But yeah, that's my uh, my latest acquisition. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it. Uh, it does have good stitching all the way across, and you can't beat Bianchi. Bianchi is a very good company. They always have been. I've got a James Arness rig, and uh, you know they're just really good, and they're wet molded to the form of the gun. They put a gun that you know simulates a single action in there, and then they wet mold it around it, and it just kind of conforms to the conforms to the shape of the gun, which I like. I like that a lot. But yeah, these are really nice holsters. And uh, they were made popular by all these, you know, old Western Western shows. I've got other Bianchi rigs. I've got a lot of Bianchi uh, gun leather because I just like leather and I like metal, metal and leather. But uh, the gun fits in. These holsters are really nice. I need to get some more rounds. Uh, Fits in there nice, the hammer thong works nice. And this this one I'm keeping probably. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm just running low on rounds and I need to get some more. And those are 38 rounds that are in here, they're Winchester. And they're hollow points. Hardly accurate for a Western holster, but this type of holster isn't really accurate for uh, the era that uh, that they kind of like to tout as uh, the 1898 era. They, I've got other Bianchi holsters that have slipped through. They're one gun belt and the holster slides through on it and uh, I like those a lot too. But yeah, that's a nice holster. It's a nice gun, gun belt. And on the other side, stitching is real tight on it. It's just quality. Raw high tie downs. Anyway, for you guys who are into the Western gun rigs, it's a Bianchi, I believe it's an 1898. I could be wrong. It could be. Uh, one other, there's another model that is like this, but I don't believe so. I think I'm right on this. Uh, it's being in 1898. I'm too lazy to look right now. But anyway, yeah, the camera, camera quality could be better on this, but my other camera's uploading, so, you know, gotta do what I gotta do to, you know, make a video. But anyway, yeah, these are really nice holsters, and the gun fits good in either one. They're not really fast draw holsters. Fast draw holsters have a different cut to them. And they're actually angled to a forward cant, which is kind of a way, it kind of goes towards your knee, it goes away from your body. But at the same time, uh, they're good, they're made real well. 
And they've got a gunfighter belt buckle on both of them. Made real, real well. Anyway, that's a Bianchi. A couple of the Bianchis that I've got. I've got four. I've got uh, three rigs that are. I've got two rigs that are like this. I sold one that was a Safari Land. Uh, this one may go out the door sometime, but I kind of like that. It, it fits a five inch, and this fits a seven inch, but. I do like this one a little bit better than I like this one. Don't know why, I just do. Uh, I do like the four and three eighths. Uh, that's a good, a good type of gun belt too, or a good type of, uh, good type of holster. Plus, it fits this gun. But yeah, the Ruger Vicaro is really nice. It's got a transfer bar. Ruger was sued. Uh, sued because some kids were they got together and there was an accidental shooting and uh, the gun didn't have a transfer bar the guy dropped it that's what happened uh, but as you can see if you've got your finger on the trigger it's just the same as pulling the trigger but it's made that way if you let off of the trigger that won't engage so you know, it is, Ruger Vicaros are made very well, and they can handle a lot of abuse. I don't abuse mine, but at the same time, it's been shot quite a bit, and uh, for a single action, not bad. I'd like to have a 44 in this, and, you know, I think that would be nice. I'm also looking at a uh, couple shotguns. I'm kind of getting getting away from the knives a little bit and switch blades and I'm going back to guns. Uh, I think the market is a little bit more stable for guns, but I'm not sure exactly which ones I want to go after and uh, sell a few things and you know pick up something different. And there's several of them that I'm looking at several innovative designs that are really nice uh, they've got some really nice Keltex and uh, Keltex shotgun is really really nice and they're having one that's going to be coming out sometime at the end of the year and I'd like to get a hold of it uh, 800 bucks something like that really really good it's got dual tubes dual feed tubes uh, the shells eject from the bottom rather than the side. That's really nice. Uh, and it's just made really, really well. But there's some bugs in it. And they're trying to get them. Uh, they're dealing with a lot of the SWAT and special, special operations uh, agencies that are going to be handling those uh, more for professional, you know, professional situations and they have you know put their input in 10 cents in and uh, you know they're just trying to work out the bugs in them but I'm gonna try and get a Caltech 12 gauge uh, when they come out depending on you know how much their value is uh, I'm real picky when it comes to guns I'm picky when it comes to knives and I don't like buying anything that's not gonna go up in value I've lost my money on my SIG <laughs> You know, that SIG 229 is really nice, but I could have got a Colt Combat Commander that was an enhanced version, and I didn't do it. And i kind of been kicking myself in the ass ever since. But, uh, yeah, these are nice. Good Western holsters, good Western rags. Anyway, yeah, Bianchi, that's what they make. Later on, guys, take it easy.